Welcome back. Iowa Republicans are preparing for today's all-important presidential caucuses by putting on some extra layers to combat the cold. Not going to stop them from doing their civic Right, duty. the official kickoff to yeah. the 2024 election season. Now, the weather is by far the coldest since Iowa started leading the presidential selection process in 1976, and it could have an impact on the outcome. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar is live in Des Moines, Iowa right now with the very latest. Good morning, Charlie. Indoors, we might yeah, that's good. <laughs> Dana and Ryan, good morning. Yeah, luckily we are indoors this morning. We would have issues if we were outside. Just like Chicago here in Iowa, we are dealing with some dangerously cold temperatures and the weather really has dominated the conversation on the campaign trail. And we've already seen its impact in some of the events leading up to tonight's caucus. Some of those in person face to face uh, of opportunities and events that candidates get with potential voters. A lot of those have been canceled because of the weather. Some have had to be moved online, but you don't really get that same experience as shaking a candidate's hand, hearing what they're all about, where they stand on certain issues. But all of these candidates, they are encouraging their supporters to bundle up and brave the elements tonight. Iowans came out in the sub-freezing cold to attend rallies on the eve of today's Republican caucuses. Ah, this is Iowa. If you don't like the weather, stick around. It'll change in 10 minutes. I think it's really important to see all the candidates. To be you know, get to hear all the perspectives before you know, making a decision. The brutal weather has added yet another question mark for the GOP candidates, hoping to build momentum as the presidential race heads into high gear. So brave the weather and go out and save America because that's what you're doing. A new CBS News poll finds former President Donald Trump's support among national Republican primary voters has risen to its highest level yet, even as former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley leads President Biden by a wider margin in a potential general election matchup. The only way we're going to win the majority of Americans is if we have a new generational leader. The Iowa caucuses begin at 7 p.m. Central at individual precinct locations across all 99 counties in the state. Can you handle the wind chill? Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said today's caucuses are more consequential than ever. It's all about the organization getting people to turn out, and that's not always easy in any caucus, but certainly in a caucus like this, where we're now going to be in the negative 20s. And if history is a barometer, the last time Iowa Republicans picked their party's eventual nominee was in 2000 with George W. Bush. Now, if everything runs smoothly, results could come in as soon as tonight. Once Iowa's results are tabulated and finalized, the candidates will certainly begin to shift their attention to New Hampshire, South Carolina and Super Tuesday. Ryan and Dana. Charlie, we heard just a little bit from Nikki Haley over the weekend there, but what are the candidates saying today as they make their final push and any idea or feel for momentum when it comes to the candidates in Iowa? Of course, all of the candidates are optimistic, saying that they feel good going into tonight. Nikki Haley, I know, was asked uh, about her aspirations, and she was asked, you know, would she consider joining former President Donald Trump's ticket if he were to be the nominee? She says that she has no interest in that, at least right now. She wants to win this thing. All right, Charlie, we know how things quickly can change politically, mm -hmm. <laughs> but right now she's in it to win it. Charlie DeMar, live in Des Moines ahead of tonight's Iowa caucuses. Thanks for your reporting.